In this video, we will review the steps required to complete the Continuing Competence Program online. To log into the Alinity dashboard, navigate to the CRNS website and click on the Sign In button in the top right corner. Enter the email tied to your CRNS profile and your password. Remember that your password is case sensitive. Once you log in, you will be presented with your CRNS portal dashboard. On the left-hand side of your dashboard, click on the My Learning. This will take you to the My Continuing Education section. Click the arrow to the right of the year to open your learning plan. If the arrow is not available, click on the plus icon to start a new learning plan, at which point the registration year drop-down box will be shown. Select the year for which you are starting the learning plan. Click Save. On the next screen, you will be presented with the sections for this learning plan. Your category of practice will automatically populate according to your registration. If you have multiple licenses, they will be visible here. You can review the documents by clicking the link to the practice standards that apply to you based on your practice categories. It is mandatory that you review the practice standards applicable to each of your practice categories. In the designation section, you must select a designation that reflects your primary role. Your learning plan will be built on learning goals and activities that relate to your primary role and where the learning will most positively impact your competence as an RN, RN with additional authorized practice, or an NP. Please note that you are no longer required to create separate learning plans for the RN, AAP, and NP categories. In the learning plan section, Start or complete your plan by selecting a practice standard from the drop-down box and then adding a learning goal in the text box. Once you have your practice standard and learning goal filled in, click the Save for Later button to have the system update for the next step. After the page automatically reloads, you will now be able to add activities at the bottom of the page that are related to your learning plan. To do this, click the Add button to add a new activity. In the first drop-down list, Select the related goal that you would like to create an activity for. Then, you will need to select an activity type to participate in. In this example, we have chosen Courses, and a brief description is displayed below that selection. After choosing your activity type, fill out the description for that activity in the Activity Description text box, and choose a target completion date. To choose the state of this activity, select an option from the completed drop-down box. This activity's completion will either be no, ongoing, or yes. If you have completed the activity and choose yes from the drop-down box, you will need to include a completion date. You can also upload any supporting documents here, such as certificates or documentation relating to that activity. If you have additional activities for the specified goal, you can enter this in the following section. While you may have additional activities, you're only required to fill out one. If you need to remove a previously added activity, you can do so by clicking the garbage can icon on the right-hand side of each activity. If you do delete an activity, any uploaded files attached to that activity will also be deleted. Ensure you download any documents before you delete the activity. To meet the CCP requirements for licensure, you must select at least one practice standard, create one learning goal, and choose one activity for each learning goal. However, we recommend choosing at least two or three learning goals for each practice standard. For each additional practice standard you select, you will still be required to create one learning goal and one activity for each learning goal. Once you have filled out all of your activities, you can proceed to the next section. In the evaluation section, you will be prompted to select your learning plan status. Assuming you have at least one activity completed, you will be able to mark the evaluation status as completed and continue with your annual renewal. If you have not completed any activities, you will not be able to move forward with the evaluation section or your renewal if you are completing at that time of year. Any ongoing activities will be rolled over to next year so you can continue with this learning. Once you have selected the Evaluation Complete from the drop-down box, you will need to fill out the Evaluation Comments text box. Here, you will comment on any details about your learning plan and related activities and how that impacts your practice. You can also upload any supporting documents here. If you are completing this at the point of renewal, you will need to click the Submit button as to continue with your renewal. If you are filling out your learning plan details during another time of the year, 
you can save this plan for later and come back at any time to update. For example, you may want to choose another practice standard. You may want to add another conference or webinar you attended as an additional activity to your learning goal. You have read an article that supports your learning and relates to your practice standard. Or you want to add comments to your evaluation section. You have now successfully initiated and or completed your CCP requirements for this licensure year. If you are having any issues or need further clarification, please contact the CRNS directly by going to our website at crns.ca and search for our CCP references.